Alright everyone, welcome back to me playing Sky Hurricane Hack, and today we're going to be using a password, because I don't feel like going through those first four levels again. Alright, so the code we're going to be putting in is Y, del I mean W, YouTube Poop. By the way, there are no YouTube Poops on Zombies Ape Neighbors, at least according to someone. Uh, I don't know who though. So we're gonna use Julie, and here we go. Level 5. Pharaohs and Friends. So I'm not sure what you're referencing there, but... Yeah, this is definitely a level that doesn't have the greatest design. But again, though, remember, first hack. See, your first hack, unless you're like Joseph K and spend a lot of... Spend a very, very long time working on your hack to the point where it's like, yeah. I feel like part of the reason why Joseph's hack is pretty clean is because he's been doing it for years, for one thing. And I think he has like a better grasp on it. I don't know why Sky did this, but. Now this level is actually not that badly designed, I must say, but... Well, it does have a lot of erroneous tiles, but it's like, I don't know why he didn't make this part indoors. Or why he made this part indoors, but... Broom, broom, broom. But, I'm not here to criticize Sky's hack, I'm here to play it. I definitely approve of putting the ant hill there. Wait, a minute, what's down here? I'll have to look that up later. I mean, this isn't my. Fi this definitely isn't one of my favorite levels of the game, but. It's not a bad level, I must say. Oh, Jesus. And by the way, the cross thing is a good thing because... Yeah. I don't know why he did this. Or why he's got like a long line of... Um... Torches on the walls, or why this torch is only half completed, or... Yeah, it's like, a lot of strange choices. I approve of the snake weight, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cart. Is that why I wasn't able to get down there? <sighs> yeah, this hack is definitely harder than the original. Because of Sky's, like, obsession with vampires, so... Yeah. Oh, that's just like a little path thing. Okay. It's useless. Useless water! Okay, I forgot what these next few levels were. Oh, wait, I know what this next one is. Oh, boy. This next level is gonna be kind of painful, but they came in like what they found. Level six Martian Mansion, nice. I approve of the name Martian Mansion for sure. And this is where I actually found out a okay what? I actually found a glitch on this level. 
regarding Martians and pool guys. Yeah, that sounds really weird, I bet. Oops, don't hit the turbo button, Alex. It breaks the illusion. Okay, what? That's probably getting really annoying, by the way. Now watch this, ready? See this guy? Think we gotta jump in the water? No, screw that. I don't know if they actually do get saved though, but it looks like they do. Um, I would use that in the tool assistant speed run, but there's one problem. In the original game, there's only one place where you can use that. Trick. Um, this key cannot be touched. I do this. I brace myself with a, uh, deep toe shoot. I nearly lost that guy, huh? Yeah, I definitely recommend a, a monster potion for this level, because... Well, there's a lot of walls. Now, there's only one place where you can use that Martian bubble glitch. It's in the... Oh, shoot. Another one bots of dust! If you want to see this, now the only level you can use it is on level 29, and even then, the Martians don't spawn very close to the pool guy. Martians are only spawned in like two and four levels. Levels 12, 21, 29, and 42, 41. And only level 29 has a Martian spawn. Near. Only. Only level 29 has a pool guy. Along with a Martian. The problem is that the Martians don't spawn very close to the pool guy, and that's. A result. The glitch will not be very useful. So, sadly, you're not gonna see that trick in my tool assistant speedrun a bit. And it's really a shame, too. It is a cool glitch, and I'd like to know how it happens. In fact, if I can, I'll, um, I'll try to show you. But I also gotta work on my own game, as well as ROM hacks. All the stuff I started, because I don't know the meaning of the word self-control. <laughs> I have no control. I just keep taking on projects. Oh yeah, that guy I saved. Anyway, it's not a bad level, although it's only annoying because... Did I not rescue the pool guy? Let's see, who was lost? I don't know, I'll have to look back over the footage. Alright, Halt Production. Level 7, Frantic Factory. Isn't there a level in the original game? In, not the original game. Some Donkey Kong game, I think it's Donkey Kong 64. There's a level called Frantic Factory, isn't there? Or the Freaky Factory. Hmm. Yeah, this level has a lot of very erroneous tiles.
and it's quite easy to get around the um, conveyor belts. And since I am drugged, I eat four dozen lugs. I don't know why this, like, the thing is floating. Go away, good sir. Yeah. I, I find this funny. the toilet again. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of cross for the next level. I don't know why Sky did all these, so... It's a rather strange decision on his part. Eh, I don't know. You never know what goes on in Sky's head. Sky probably doesn't even know what goes on in Sky's head. I will freaking end you. You must die. Oh wait, I got a lot of this stuff to blow their brains out with. Also, I don't know why this happened. As for what I think of the level, well, I think it's an alright level. Straight, it's kind of like, um, what level is it called? I was a Chainsaw Maniac from the original game, which is, uh, level... 34. 34, okay. Cut that and you will die. Hooray! Saints all maniacs are usually very responsive to, um... Usually they're responsive to cutting open walls. Or is I don't know what's going on with that guy. Maybe he accidentally got his head stuck up his butt. And I was like, no, I don't want to cut hedges. Or boxes, or whatever. Because I'm edgy! <laughs> Edgier than the chainsaw he kills people with. <laughs> oh, toy boy. Oh, what? Another one? I actually feel like the fact that Sky used this tile with all the fun baby boxes. Because the original game did that, actually. Oh boy, I'm not too fun with six level. But... I'm not too fond of a lot of these levels, but hey, that's just me being lol, I'm so edgy. Very thirsty they are. Level 8, Night of the Vampires. I think Sky could have easily, like, condensed some of these. You know, like, he doesn't need to have, like, four lines to say very thirsty they are. Now, this is Sky's act, so naturally there's a lot of vampires. A lot of vampires. Now I wanna know why he used the mouse side of castles. Seems a little strange, don't you think? But before you say the original game didn't follow any logic. Well, how do you explain the uh fact that vampires were only ever seen in castles? 
It might have been, well, there was one exception, that was a level, um, well, level was it? Level 12B. Yeah, Sky uses a lot of vampire attack. That's why crosses usually give out more and there's just more cross in general. This guy is always very cross with people, you know? Cross. Oh, I would not do that, by the way, because, uh... With the, uh... Don't put a trampoline on the edge of a level, because... Otherwise, you'll be able to jump outside of the level. You don't want that, because you'll get stuck, and then... That'll suck. I'm not sure why Sky used the zombie panic theme in this level. Hopefully that's all of the vampires. Hopefully. I don't know if there's any werewolves, so... Cross your fingers and hope there aren't. So yeah, that's levels... Uh... Five through eight of Sky's eight, uh, Sky's first zombie and neighbor attack. Yay! Vampires vanquished. Oh really? You don't play. So um yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.